Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. U.S. Army pilots fly autonomous Sikorsky helicopter. A UVSI launches trusted operator program. And Northwest UAV moves towards FAA Part 21 type certification. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. U.S. Army pilots exercise supervised autonomy to direct an optionally piloted helicopter through a series of missions to demonstrate technology developed by Lockheed Martin Company, Sikorsky and DARPA. The series of flights marked the first time that non-Sikorsky pilots operated the Sikorsky Autonomy Research Aircraft, a modified S-76B commercial helicopter, as an OPV aircraft. Sikorsky is developing autonomous and optionally piloted technology that will ultimately decrease instances of the number one cause of helicopter crashes, controlled flight into terrain. Sikorsky is working closely with the FAA to certify the technology so that it will be available on current and future commercial and military aircraft. SARA, which has more than 300 hours of autonomous flight, successfully demonstrated the advanced capabilities developed as a part of the third phase of DARPA's aircrew labor in cockpit automation system program. The aircraft was operated at different times by pilots on board and pilots on the ground, with Sikorsky's Matrix Technology Autonomous Software and Hardware, which is installed on SARA. Over the next few months, Sikorsky will for the first time fly a Black Hawk equipped with alias. The company is working closely with the FAA to certify ALIAS Matrix technology so that it will be available on current and future commercial and military aircraft. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The government of Vanuatu has signed agreements with two companies for a demonstration project to deliver vaccines to 39 remote villages in the country. The vaccines are temperature sensitive and often take days to deliver to remote villages in the island nation. There are 83 islands in the Vanuatuan archipelago spread over about 500 square miles. Only about a third of the country is accessible by road or air. Custom Weather, a specialized provider of high-resolution weather data and alert services, has entered into a partnership with True Weather Solutions Limited Liability Company to produce unique high-resolution forecasts to support UAS. Also known as drones, UAS require close attention to weather conditions, particularly wind, temperature, and severe weather for mission planning and execution. Drone Airspace Management Platform AirMap has selected Microsoft Azure as its exclusive cloud platform to power its drone traffic management platform and developer ecosystem. AirMap will be partnering with Microsoft to evolve their products and scale to countries looking to enable the use of drones for commercial scenarios in a responsible way. With the AirMap platform powered by Microsoft Azure, Customers will have access to more intelligent and ethical solutions for managing their drone operations around the world. Propeller, a cloud-based drone analytics company, has announced a partnership with DJI to create the Propeller PPK solution, leveraging the DJI Phantom 4 RTK drone. This solution provides customers in the civil, mining, aggregates, and waste management industries with a reliable and fully integrated drone mapping system, helping them collect highly accurate data from any worksite without the challenges of traditional workflows. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. 
AUVSI has launched the Trusted Operator Program, a new certification program available to remote pilots and UAS training organizations. Through top operators and organizations can distinguish themselves in a growing marketplace by holding themselves to a higher standard of safety and professionalism. The top certification process results in an AUVSI-sponsored seal of approval for individuals and organizations who demonstrate a higher level of training, knowledge, and commitment to safety that goes above and beyond the FAA's requirements, said Tracy Lamb, Vice President of Regulatory and Safety Affairs and Chief Pilot of AUVSI. TOP uses safety standards developed by accredited standard bodies, international safety experts, and aviation regulations from the FAA, other regulatory authorities, and associations to certify a UAS operator's proficiency and ability to operate safely and the commitment of training organizations to following a more comprehensive set of protocols. AUVSI developed TOP after collaboration through the TOP Steering Committee a group of more than 197 subject matter experts and industry leaders from more than 50 organizations across the globe. Their input helped develop three levels of top certification, each tailored to reflect different levels of safety resilience, skills, qualifications, and knowledge. UAV Propulsion Manufacturer Northwest UAV has successfully completed the first phase towards FAA 14 CFR Part 21 type certification in support of the NW44 type certification program. Members of the FAA team, which comprised FAA Flight Standards, Air UAS Programs and Procedures Division, Air Policy and Innovation Division, and the Engine Directorate, came together on October 16th and 17th at NW UAV headquarters in McMinnville, Oregon, for the first GATIS certification process in collaboration with the FAA. NW UAV presented its advanced captures of 14 CFR 33 and 35 data, the process for risk assessment utilizing safety management principles founded in current Part 5 regulatory basis and the ability to transition to ISO-based production capability pursuant to a visual production certification and Part 145 services. This critical meeting demonstrated the intent of NWUAV to establish high consequence, critical success attributes in every UAS engine design. The availability of an FAA 14 CFR 21.17A type certificated power plant will provide significant opportunity for airframe manufacturers to successfully and efficiently navigate the civil certification requirements for their aircraft with an off-the-shelf availability of an NWUAV type certificated engine propeller set. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.